Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I wanted to talk about the footstep mechanic in Call of Duty. If there's one thing that has been dramatically different in each and every Call of Duty, but has been in every single Call of Duty, it is, without a doubt, the footsteps. In this video, I want to make a case of why we should have audible footsteps, functional footsteps, here in Infinite Warfare. Footsteps are by nature a close quarter combat situation mechanic, and because of that there are two main situations in which footsteps are going to play a part in gunfights. So let's talk about each of those, their implications of having footsteps and not having footsteps, and the results of that. Situation number one, you are rushing, you've just taken the B flag and you want to maintain that map control, you want to lock the enemy in their spawn. So you run up close to their spawn, you turn the corner and you instantly die by from, from someone camping in a corner. You look at the kill cam and he didn't know you were there until he heard your footsteps. We'll talk about that situation more in depth in the future, but let's talk about the second situation. Scenario number two, you are again rushing in the enemy spawn, around the enemy spawn, and you hear somebody about to turn the corner right in front of you, coming out of their own spawn, ready to engage you. But you also hear somebody behind you, around the corner maybe, but still nonetheless behind you. So what you do is you aim down sights, you quickly kill the person in front of you, but now you are able to turn around and turn on that person behind you and kill him because you could hear both of their footsteps. These two situations, in my opinion, demonstrate the positives and downsides of footsteps. Of course, every situation is different, but this is just kind of a, a bland overview of what footsteps can do. So now let's talk about the pros and cons of these two situations and of footsteps themselves. The first situation, the situation where you're rushing in and somebody hears your footsteps and they are able to aim on you and pre-aim you and shoot you down because of your footsteps, that is an argument I hear a lot against footsteps, that footsteps shouldn't be in the game because they only promote camping. But that's why I like the second situation, because that is a scenario where you're rushing, you're rushing into the enemy spawn, and you're actually able to be more successful because of footsteps. You're able to rush more successfully because of footsteps. So the first argument against footsteps is it only helps campers. That is simply not true. There are many times in Infinite Warfare where I do push up close to the enemy spawn, especially in that beautiful new game mode of Frontline, and I simply cannot hear, I don't have the awareness to know or listen to where the enemies are spawning from. So my very obvious upside to footsteps is a heightened sense of awareness. Now don't get me wrong, this does increase the state of awareness of a player, definitely for sure. However, the player still needs good reaction times in order to be successful while hearing footsteps. Hearing footsteps is half the battle. The other half is that gun scale. It's going about engaging the enemy that you hear. But that's the positive, the more awareness to the enemies. Let's talk about the negatives. The negative really comes from that first situation that I marked out. If you are rushing the enemy spawn, they can hear you, they can prepare for you, they can hear you, and they can set up a gunfight against you. This seemingly promotes camping, doesn't it? And with that first situation, it sure does feel like it. And campers can absolutely use this mechanic to their advantage. However, there is a very simple, straightforward, an easy counter, dead silence. Now dead silence and awareness have had their ups and downs and their good implementations and bad implementations in Call of Duty, but I'm talking about right here in Infinite Warfare. This is the perfect scenario. There is no amplify, there is no awareness, there is no perk that makes the footsteps louder. This is brilliant. Now all we need to do is let the dead silent perk be dead silent. Throw on dead silence and that camper no longer hears where you're coming from. That is your solution. That is perfectly balanced. You might say donuts. That makes dead silence a, a crutch perk. 
However, let me say this. Dead silence is only useful when footsteps are useful, and that is in those close quarter combat situations when you are pushing up close to the enemy. That means with a sniper rifle, a light machine gun, assault rifle, you may or may not be getting that close to enemies to even hear their footsteps. If you want to push up close to the enemy, surely you guys would love to hear their footsteps. You would love to hear them coming from their spawn and just flooding towards you and being able to be aware of where they're going and try to plan out your engagements accordingly. That is such a huge level of depth that would be so beneficial in this game. And adding in the already perfect counter to this in Dead Silence would be perfect. This is their chance. Make footsteps audible. Make footsteps functional. Make the enemy footsteps as loud as my teammate footsteps. Make Dead Silence dead silent with no counter. That is your perf perfect footstep implementation in Call of Duty. Now another argument I always seem to run into against footsteps is that it's pay to win. You need a fancy expensive headset in order to sound whore and that makes the rich people uh, better at the game. This is simply false. You don't need an expensive headset. Honestly, I'm going to be real with you, throughout Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and Call of Duty Ghosts, I sound whored with a $10 Skull Candy headset. It broke about every two or three months. I had to get a new one about every two or three months. It cost me 10 bucks and I was actually able to sound horror with those. And let me tell you, if you have an iPhone or an iPod, don't they come with headsets already? Headsets are not this random uh, accessory that not a lot of people have. Everybody seems to have at least some shabby ghetto pair of headphones lying around somewhere. The Xbox One controller now comes with a headset port. The PlayStation 4 always came with a headset port. You have no excuse not to use headsets, even if they are really cheap. And so that is my case for footsteps. If you've made it this far into the video, you obviously have some thoughts on this, so please let me know that in the comment section below. All in all, adding footsteps would be a huge change for me. This would dramatically increase the enjoyment I'm having with this game because as it stands right now, it feels very arcadey, very random, and I do want to discuss that in the future, but footsteps would greatly help. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Again, comment in the comment section below if you made it this far. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I will catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.